It was business as usual for McCabe's Super Value in Newton Butler today, after thieves used a digger to rob the store's cash machine at the weekend. As Fermanagh TV exclusively revealed, thieves made off with £81,000 from the town's only cash machine before setting the digger on fire and fleeing in a white pickup. It thought the robbery could be the biggest theft of its kind in the county. And the PS and I have come under much scrutiny after it emerged that Fermanagh Police took over 12 hours to turn up to the scene. Well, the police w w was going on about uh, personal safety towards their officers because of uh, uh, terrorist activity in the area, apparently. But at the same time, it doesn't. It's not. Uh, it's not too hard to put plain clothes police officers in a plain car and make the way here with the time scale that should have been done, and not that did, it didn't happen. Like you know, but it's not good enough. You know, there's no sense leaving 10 or 12 hours between uh, a serious crime like this here and uh, try and investigate it 10 or 12 hours later. It's not, that's not the way you do things, like, you know, it's crazy. I'm disgusted, the local community is disgusted. You know what I mean, we've lost, a, we've lost a, at this moment in time, we've lost a, an invaluable facility. We fought for years to get it. You can't do it without an ATM in this town. We've no bank, so it was a, it was a major asset. A spokeswoman from the PSNI told for Mana TV that the ongoing terrorist threat in the area meant police have to be cautious when approaching crime scenes. After the closure of the town's only bank, the rural community of Newton Butler are now left stranded with no access to their cash for miles. I've been working here for three years and to think that somebody came in the middle of the night and took the ATM machine away, it's, it's disgraceful. It's the only machine about for maybe three or four miles and uh, what is the community going to do without it? Even myself and everybody else, we have no way of banking now. I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be a very big loss to the town and there's going to be no way of getting our money, we have to move go to listen ski and there's no hole, hole in the wall in Newton Butler so it's going to be a very big loss. Two daughters living over there and two, three grandchildren and they were very close to what had happened on, on Friday night or Saturday night, whatever night it was and uh, I think it's a, it's a disgrace for such a village, only a small village for to be to be targeted like this, you know what I mean? It's common knowledge in this town that there isn't People can get away and do what they like in this town, like, you know, there's nobody to, to stop anybody doing anything. Like. And to be honest with you, that night or the, night be, or the day before, they are earlier on in the day, so the place was full of police and the helicopter was up there, so the whole day long. And then of course when, when you want them for to do something, to stop doing something, they're not to be had, like, you know. A police conference is due to take place in Oman this afternoon, where the PS and I will respond to criticism in their handling of this incident. Rodney Edwards, Fermanagh TV.